Hi folks and welcome to our channel. Um, last year at uh, some stage we couldn't resist buying some what were advertised as 420 amp hour cells and uh, we thought that was a real push because the they were standard or, or very common cell size same as these. Uh, these are 200 by 72 by 175 millimeters and that's a very common cell size. These 420 amp hour cells were this this size. And uh, so we put them through their paces and clearly the seller was lying. Uh, we had clarified with the seller beforehand. <coughs> and um, we got our money back at the end of that uh, process. Had to send the cells back. Now, these we have uh, recently bought and they've been sitting in, in the, our warehouse for two or three months. Um, these are 320 amp hour cells, which is quite feasible given the chemistry at this point in time and the dimension of these uh, cells. So it is quite, it's the sort of upper end of what you can expect uh, from these cells, but it is theoretically possible and quite feasible that they could be 320. The 420 was never going to happen, but we gave the seller the opportunity to say, to come clean and say that they weren't. So we'll be putting these cells through the paces to see just what we get. I'm uh, preparing these cells to do some capacity tests. And uh, in order to do that, I'm going to bring them to a fairly constant temperature. So it wouldn't be fair on the suppliers to test their cells at a fairly low temperature. It's about uh, six degrees out here in this barn. And uh, it's much too cold a temperature to do the proper test. So I'm going to put these cells into this cubicle that we built. It's got polystyrene and foam, so it's really warm inside. Uh, it's set to go up to between sort of 25 and 27 degrees. <clears throat> so I'm gonna bring the cells in here. Uh, we're gonna leave them for about 12 hours. <clears throat> Let them uh, all get to the same sort of temperature, nice and warm. Uh, and then we'll commence with the tests. Um, as I mentioned in another video, <clears throat> not impressed with the way that they have bulged. Uh, they have bulged out very considerably, but uh, we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> so let me bring you to a close up. Now this is the booth that we'll be testing in. I've just turned it on, so it's still fairly cold. Uh, you can see that it's running at about uh, 15 degrees, which is way too low. Uh, it's going to warm up considerably. I would be happy, most suppliers would be happy with sort of 21, 22 degrees or above, but we'll try and get it up to 25. You can see the little heater is going, two temperature probes there, one that runs the heater. And a fairly fairly insulated uh, door that we can actually see what's going on inside there and then we'll be setting up these testers to run the capacity tests on the, the individual cells. We have all four testers connected up to the cells in this heated booth. So close the door just to keep them warm. Yeah and uh, tests are going one two three and four. This will take roughly 20 hours, 21 hours to complete this test. So tomorrow around about this time. Hi folks. So the um, capacity tests have completed. Uh, we started them at about, uh, uh, what, three, four o'clock yesterday <clears throat> in the afternoon. And uh, they've just uh, finished one or two hours ago. So we ran them at uh, 15 amps until uh, they all reached at least 300 amp hours. Uh, remember, these cells are rated at 320. So at 300, we turn them down to 5 amps, which causes the voltage to bounce back a bit. Um, I don't really know how much more you'd get, just a little bit more. But uh, so let's look at the testing rigs and see uh, what we've got. So going from left to right in this first one, as you can see, 315 amp hours so falls short of the uh, stated capacity by 5 amp hours and this test was very fair we brought the cells up to the right temperature uh, it was only a 15 amp 
uh, pull until the last bit which was then 5 amps and so 315 amps is not very good test ran for 22 nearly 22 and a half hours second one <coughs> test ran a bit longer got 317 uh, amp hours out of that one also falls uh, short of the target by 3 amp hours uh, this one here was really not good 311 uh, let's call it 312 amp hours test ran for just over 21 hours so not very good not very good at all and the final testing rig uh, 316 amp hours so again falls short of the uh, 320 stated amp hours so let's get these cells out put them on the table and just have a really good look and see how they are in terms of how much they've uh, swollen now they uh, you'll see in the previous part of the video they sp they uh, were quite swollen after being top balanced um, way more than I'm comfortable with so let's have a look and see <coughs> well it's really warm in here this testing testing booth is working really well uh, got it to 21 degrees <coughs> inside that's quite fine and you can feel the, the cells themselves are still quite warm to the touch. Let's have a look at the condition of these cells. So these four here are, are brand new, just arrived two days ago. Uh, 304 amp hours which will be uh, top balancing very shortly and then uh, putting them through the test as well uh, so these are the ones that we've just taken out of the testing booth uh, they they had swollen by almost a centimeter um, and now they're, they're pretty good now um, you probably can't see very clearly on there in fact let me turn this camera so that it's exactly side on <coughs> as you can see there's still <coughs> quite a gap about a two or three millimeter gap here this is flush but then there's a gap here and sometimes you can actually just push them together because they're just uh, it's almost like the aluminium is just sticking out a bit but actually this you'd have to compress quite a bit to get it back in and these are now completely discharged these are sitting at about 2.7 2.8 volts because um, we we run the test down to 2.5 and then obviously the the tester cuts off and then the voltage bounces back a little bit on these from 2.5 back up to uh, 2.7 2.8 so <coughs> just to to recap then we we charge these up to 3.65 each and uh, let them rest uh, overnight uh, some people say you should only rest for a few hours but actually it makes very little difference whether you rest a few more hours uh, within a 24-hour period you should not lose that much in terms of state of charge um, and uh, <coughs> so we let them rest and then we put them on the test uh, I, as I said they are rated at 320 amp hours I would have expected them to reach quite close to that but uh, as you can see uh, they didn't n none of them actually reached the 320 amp hours so this seller has sold them as 320 amp hour cells uh, we think that it would have been fair to call them uh, let's just say 310 amp hour cells uh, but definitely not 320 Hi however it's not it's not terrible we, we've tested what some seller said was a 420 amp hour and only got 240 amp hours so uh, the lowest was 211, uh, sorry, 311, and the highest was about 317. So <coughs> not too far off the 320, but definitely not 320. Uh, and the bulging, and it's still bulged out now, uh, and maybe this will go down, but uh, the bulging is my biggest concern. So final uh, thoughts and conclusions. Uh, regarding these 320 amp hour cells um, and would I 
consider changing to these and dropping these. So these are our 304 amp hour, which I have not yet capacity tested, but they're from a very good supplier. And we've never had problems with these cells. In fact, we've sold uh, hundreds of them and um, many batteries built with them and, and very pleased with the results. So uh, risk factor, we just wouldn't change off these. Um, but there are four primary reasons why I would not actually choose this. The, the first and the most severe problem is that they did not reach their stated capacity. And we have a policy that if your cells do not reach your stated capacity, you are a dishonest seller and we wouldn't do business with you. Uh, I'm sorry to be so harsh, but that is the bottom line. So you, we don't go for this up to 320. If you say they're 320, they're 320 or more. And that's how most uh, guys like us would, would um, treat it as. So number one, they don't reach the stated capacity. Number two, the internal resistance difference was quite considerable between them and that would uh, be reflected in the fact that there was quite a big difference between the capacity, you know, between the cells. So that's number two, internal resistance. Number three, and this is really, really important and critical, the bulging when they reached their full state of charge was uh, unacceptably high. These were really, I think these last two were really rocking against each other and uh, nearly a centimeter of bulge between them. So five mils each, that's way too much. It's way, way too much. And <clears throat> I'm not sure whether we can actually compress these. Uh, we'll try and put these into an enclosure. Uh, and I want to actually put them into an, an enclosure and then see if there's any difference in the capacity. But I'm not expecting any difference at all. And, and other people have done those sort of tests and not found there to be a difference uh, when you simply compress them. The problem is that you'd have to actually compress this quite a lot. I said four reasons. So the fourth reason is just a personal preference. Um, I don't like these uh, studs, these uh, welded terminals that they put on here. Then you use these. It's just a personal preference. Others may love these and prefer them. I, I just don't. I prefer these studs that we can talk down to 10 newton, newton meters without any problem. And they carry the current. They carry, I'd say that can carry on a, on a sort of a a high throughput, at least 200 amps on, on a single battery, which is a lot of current to pass through a battery. And uh, we've done uh, some severe stress tests and found that those terminals are absolutely fine uh, when you talk them down. That is, if you're not going to talk them down, then, but why wouldn't you? So final conclusions, uh, would I recommend that you buy, and I'm sure Nigel will put the link uh, below, uh, would you buy or would I recommend that you buy these cells? And the simple answer, because of the, the first three reasons, no, I would not recommend these cells or the supply, this um, particular supplier. So <coughs> there you have it. Um, so thanks for watching our channel and um, appreciate your comments or any uh, input. Um, stay tuned for when I do the capacity test of these uh, 304 amp hour cells. We're really looking forward to uh, working with those because they will fit into the standard uh, replacement size battery that we sell. This is our OPS 280. It's got four similar to these. In fact, it's these cells which are 280 amp hour. Uh, so four of them in there with a 150 amp smart BMS with Bluetooth. You know, I mean, this is quite incredible how you can fit so much into one one box. And uh, we'll be fitting these 304 amp hour cells into these boxes and uh, that'll be quite a formidable battery. Imagine a standard replacement size with more than 300 amp hours and a 150 amp BMS with uh, Bluetooth. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.